Hello everyone, my name is Alan Oriana. I'm with Junior Achievement and today we'll be discussing a little bit more about saving and budgeting. All right, so saving and budgeting. So some of the topics that we'll be discussing is the value of your dollar, needs versus wants, setting priorities and goals, understanding why you should save, understanding the concept of paying yourself first, how to save, ways to cut spending, and how to keep track of your money with a budget. Understanding the difference between needs and wants, a need is something that you cannot live without. An example of this is basic human life necessities like shelter, water, food. A want is something nice to have but is not necessary. So an example of this could be a luxury brand or a luxury car, vehicle, clothes, luxury clothes. When you can control your spending on life's wants, you will have more available money to spend on your other life's needs. Setting priorities and goals. So when deciding to set certain goals for yourself, you should ask yourself, what is most important to you? Is it family, education, job success? What is not so important or something that you don't have to prioritize? Something like flashy possessions or vacations? Do you have short-term goals in life? Let, let's say saving for a favorite night out or a prom or you know certain shoes that just came out. Do you have longer term goals in life like college, buying a home or buying a vehicle? So why save? You should save to help you achieve your financial goals. Saving will offer you the peace of mind that comes with the knowledge that you are also prepared for emergencies. This is where having an emergency fund comes into play. Paying yourself first. The concept of paying yourself first means that you should put away the money you want to save for your goals. When you save, you are, quote unquote, paying yourself first. When you spend money, you are paying others. So why should you pay yourself first? The reason being is that you are the most, imper person, the most important person in the equation. So you should get some of the money first before others get it from you. All right, so in terms of how to save, you should set goals. Like, let's say you want, you want to buy an iPad by next year, which costs 500, you must plan to save at least 50 a month for 10 months or something along those lines. And you should also have a strategy for saving that money. Like, let's say you have a summer job or a part-time job or money from an allowance. You should be able to allocate the, where all this money is coming from and put it towards your goal. Some ways you can cut back on spending is practicing self-control, like making a shopping list and sticking to it, setting a spending limit for impulse buys, research before you buy, and being a smart shopper. Also being open to the idea of buying used items as opposed to new items all the time. Being realistic and having realistic, tangible goals keeping a spending diary to track your purchases. You should also keep track of your spending, which he, this is where the budget comes into play. And a budget helps you keep track of your money. It also helps you keep track of how much money is coming in, like income, allowances, and gifts. It also shows you where your money is coming out. Some budgeting basics is a plan for your current and future income expenditure that you can use as a guideline for spending and saving. And whenever you're having a budget, it is important to stick to it. This is where most people have problems. They see something flashy and they wanna go buy it. No, if you have a budget for a reason, it's important that you stick to it. So here's an example of a spending diary. So, this outlines the days of the week and has the highlighting question, what did I spend money on today? And this is, this is important because it shows you where your money's going to and where it's coming from. And 
when you have that idea set in mind, you can set proper limits and goals for each category. Like, let's say, personal spending, uh, media and entertainment, or groceries. Thank you.